And the possibility of, this, of a split in the UMP was envisaged by all, but it still came as a shock to the members of parliament we spoke to this morning who are worried about the actual survival of the party, of its future. One of them who supports uh, Coupe uh, described uh, Fillon's move as one of blackmailing, uh, accusing him of seeking to undermine the party by creating his own parliamentary group. François Fillon, the former French prime minister, is trying to show that he has a strong support base, though it remains to be seen how many MPs will actually uh, follow him in his endeavour. Former minister Dominique Bussereau, for instance, is a strong Fillon supporter. Well, he, he's giving himself a few hours to decide. He still hasn't decided whether he will join uh, Fillon's new group in Parliament. He told us earlier that what he wants first and foremost is a new election. Here's Dominique Bussereau. What we're asking for is a revote. The voting process went wrong. The creation of another group is obviously a way of applying pressure, so as long as we haven't revoted, the situation at the UMP will not be clear and will also be unclear for French democracy. It doesn't help anyone if the main opposition group is such an important structural problem. And creating this new group in Parliament is a way for François Fillon, of course, uh, to push, to sh try to put pressure on uh, Jean-François Copé to hold a new ballot. Soon, François Fillon will know how many real friends he has. Meanwhile, his enemies are saying that his move is suicidal and that it's not too late to give up and that he should stop right away.